It's night music. Starring David Sanborn, Jules Holland, and the Sunday Night Band. Tonight's guests, Shirley Caesar, the Dixie Hummingbirds, Reverend Claude Jeter, and Take Six. Fired up. I was all, I, I had a bit of an organ. Uh, when I've got that, I'm really, you know, it gets me all it's, excited. It's all I can see. Are those spats? These are my special organ, organ performance shoes, actually. They oh. come from Britain. Do they get everybody Very fired nice. up and ready for a bit of a show? Yeah. Mm, obviously not. <laughs> Still, that's just a sort of a foot thing, really. I don't think we want to get bogged no. down in that. This show is very good, I think. I've come to that conclusion. And it's a little bit different than... than uh, Shows that we've done in the past. Yes, well, I was talking about the series generally, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, fair enough. Don't you agree? Don't you think it's unusual that we put such strange combinations and contrasts together? Yes, yes. Yes. yes, indeed. And this week, we've not done that. Instead, we've gone with a theme, haven't we? Yes, we've, we we've have. We've definitely yes. gone... What, this is a theme, a theme show, I think. Well, you know, a, lo a lot of music that we've had on, whether it's been... Uh, R&B, blues, or soul, all, all have their roots in church music and, and gospel music, actually. And tonight we have some of the greats of gospel music. We have a group who, over the past 60 years, have time and time again earned their reputation as the gentlemen of song, the Dixie Hummingbirds. Yes. <laughs> Always like that, you know. And um, a man whose distinctive falsetto voice led the swan silver tones for many years, yes. the Reverend... Claude Jeter, ladies and gentlemen. And also a group who actually appeared on, on, on Sunday night last November, and they were so popular that we had to have them back. And they're quickly establishing themselves as one of the major forces in modern gospel music. Take six. Yes. Yes, already I'm excited yes. about this show. I'm very excited. And a woman who has received ten Grammy nominations, five Grammy awards, three gold albums, and many, many, too, too many things to, 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 to mention, really. Here, to start things off, Shirley Caesar and the Caesar Singers! <laughs>
spirit of the Lord is upon me. You have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. To set at liberty them that are bruised. And preach the acceptable year of the Lord. In other words, what I hear the Lord saying. to ask you a quick question now. Riddle, are you ready? Yes. Good, good, OK. What have I got in common with Leonard Bernstein, Stevie Wonder, Mel Blanc and David Sanborn? Fat dandruff. Fat dandruff. No, completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> the answer is, in fact, that we all have impeccable taste and are fans of this next group, who Marcus Miller introduced to us. Please welcome back to Sunday Night, and they're very welcome indeed, performing Getaway Jordan, the fabulous... Take six. <laughs> Get away, Get back, Jordan, no. I want 
want to cross over to see my lord. Yes, I believe that you want a goodbye, but I want to cross over to see my lord. You know the rich who live and the poor would just drop. I want to cross over to see my lord get away. talked to R&B singer and father of the twist, Hank Ballard, and we asked him how gospel music influenced his writing. Anything that's, that has a gospel element in it turns me on. I like music that I can, can hear gospel in it. I used to listen to the Dixon Hummingbirds. That was my favorite group. And I, I, I recorded a lot of their melodies. All I did was change the lyrics to a lot of their songs. But I would always let them know in advance that I wasn't stealing, you know. I just, if they would come up with a, a good melody that I like, I would always change the lyrics. Instead of saying, God, this, I would say, baby, this, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Dixon Hummingbirds and uh, uh, the Soul Stirs featuring uh, Sam Cooke, those are my two groups. Now, now tell me, is, is that true that Hank Ballard actually called you and asked you if it was okay if he used a, a melody of yours? Sure. <laughs> yeah. And then you said okay at the Oh, time. yes. He used a lot, quite a few of our songs, you know, and switched them into his rock and roll. Into the secular. You, you, yes. you, you didn't mind? At that time, I didn't. You know, I <laughs> but you mind a lot now, right? Yeah. <laughs> it makes a big difference now. Well, this next song was written by... Uh, Marvin Ware. Right, Marvin Ware, and it's called... You ought, you ought to change. The Dixie Hummingbirds and You Ought to Change. One day I made up that I was walk with Jesus. Praise his name. I gave up.
Our next guest has clearly been an influence on such great contemporary singers as Al Green and The Temptations and many others. The former lead singer of the Swan Silver Tones, please welcome the Reverend Claude Jeter, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think it's necessary that we always have to be sort of um, wacky and dispensing bonhomie. Uh, what, what does bonhomie mean? Well, um, being sort of charming and handing out the drinks and the sandwiches. He's saying get on with it, no surprise. <laughs> if you want to know what a word means, go and look it up. Okay. I think it would be more interesting for the people at home, especially, and the people in the audience to go into our psyche, our childhood. What are, what are your earliest memories of gospel music? Or indeed, are they your earliest memories of music? <laughs> well, uh, the first time I remember hearing gospel music was... Uh, I remember laying in bed on like Sunday night. I was ten or eleven years old, and uh, listening to the radio. Uh, uh, I think it was WLAC from Nashville, 
And uh, there was a group that used to do the theme song called the Angelics, and they, it was uh, "Touch Me, Lord Jesus." And it was the, the music just was so incredible, just coming through the night. You know, when you're laying there as, as a little kid with this big radio, a big piece of furniture radio yeah. with the light on, and uh, yes. it was really incredibly moving to me. You know, hearing that music at that time. Yes. It is true to say as well that the first, this is in between the war bulletins and so forth, but it's very much like that for me as a child in London because I, it is true, the first record that I ever, ever bought was Oh Happy Day by the Edwin Hawkins Singers. I bet nobody, nobody knew that, did they? They'd all thought it would be the Rolling Stones or something. Well, it wasn't. And I, I was so impressed with it. What? You didn't know that. You couldn't have possibly known that. I've never met you before in my life. You weren't there when I was eight. No, you didn't. Just, you were just making it up and you're trying to get in. Anyway, the point was that I just did a horrible bid at getting into show business. It's all I ever come across, people kissing me. And anyway, I learned how to play A Happy Day. And in this little small London home, mm. we'd huddle around the fire and I'd get everybody to clap along like this. And I got the sort of idea of it, which was... Uh, um, Are you real? forth and they'd all clap along on that but then when it came to the singing bit oh happy day <laughs> and i discovered that if you come from london it's impossible um uh, if you, to really sing uh, gospel music successfully it like if jerry you, lewis if you're for me. A minute, <laughs> so it was a very uh, it was a very uh, a bit of an experience next week we'll talk about when i was a little bit older okay when you were after prison the, after prison the uh, the court case, what the newspapers said. Uh, let's well, get on with it. Johnny Cash. Very right? much so, yes. Uh, so, uh, and now some wonderful archival footage of the Clovers with Your Cash Ain't Nothing But Tarash. <laughs>
was really great. It is good. I think that's the one. I think I think that I illustrated that's the thing that you need, which I don't have yeah. for for singing gospel is a bit of a voice. In fact, <laughs> in fact, a bit of a good voice as well, yeah. which we've had tonight. I, I used to think and this is true that a cappella meant singing without your trousers until I saw this next group when I realised that it meant singing unaccompanied. Please welcome back Take Six with Goldmine. <laughs> Climbing the walls, not even knowing what it was I had to find. I wonder if I ever would. There had to be some kind of something or someone who might bring out the best in me. Only the greatest ever could. You, I caught my eye. To what of us do ignore? Better sight. I took in your light. One look shining down through heaven's door. I never thought I would ever stumble out of darkness and prize the view. But this time I found a gold mine in you. In you. This is the Hard to believe my life is changing, Lord, but now I've got your turn. I gotta keep passing it along. Down in my heart, I knew there'd be someone like you someday. Hear me, knowing you, see me, chosen me, just to lead the way. I never thought I would ever stumble out of darkness and prize the view, but, but this time I found a gold mine in you. I have to admit, I never thought I would ever chance upon a love I could hold on to, but, but, but this time I found a gold mine in you. But it's true but, uh, I can't begin to calculate my wealth And I never, ever stumble out of darkness and prize the view But this time I find you And finders are keepers I Chance upon a love I could hold on to But I never thought I would ever Spot a ray of hope in the residue I never thought I would ever Find another prospect to interview But this time I found a gold mine in you I have to admit I never Well, I must tell you that standing next to this lady on the stage when she performs is like standing next to a nuclear reactor. She's a one powerful singer, Shirley Caesar. Now, I know that, uh, that normally you have 10 background singers, or nine background singers, right? Well, that, uh, nine that, in the choir. that also includes the musicians. Though. Oh, I see. Right. Uh, but you, you brought with you just, just the... Yes. The, a, f a few key members. With yes, you. yes. C could you please introduce them? Oh, indeed. Uh, I'm happy to present uh, the young man that's on the organ, mm -hmm. uh, Minister Michael Mathis. Mike? Yes. Who <laughs> I should put on has been playing with us all night. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. He does a fine job. 
And then uh, uh, Mr. Bernard Sterling. Great yes. gospel singer. And my sister, who has been with me since I left the caravans, Miss Ann Caesar Price. Well, without further ado, uh, why don't we do this next song, which is okay. called Never. Right. Shirley Caesar and the Caesar Singers. That's how I feel this evening, because it's really exciting music. And we continue now with the Dixie Hummingbirds and Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Swing Low, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Coming for to carry me.
Sweet chariot Coming for to carry Me home I looked over Jordan And no what did I see Coming for to carry me Coming after me, coming for to carry me home. Why don't you swing, swing down, Cherry? Stop and let, let me ride. You swing. swing down, Cherry. Stop and let, let me ride. Rock me, Lord. Rock me, Lord. out of the Wizard Hotel. He looks out a window without glass. So we've got to zoom through our thanks and let's thank our fabulous guest, uh, the Reverend Claude Jeter, ladies and gentlemen. Shirley Caesar and the Caesar Singers. The Dixie Hummingbirds. Take six. George Duke, the band, and of course, on organ, Michael, on organ, Michael Mathis. Thank you very much for joining us. What is it? And now we're going to do Mary Don't You Weep, written by Claude Jeter. Women, me. Martha, don't you mind? Oh, Martha, don't you mind? Listen, me. Oh, Mary, don't you weep? Martha, don't have to mourn. Oh, Martha, don't you mourn? Pharaoh's on. We're drowned in the sea. Drowned in the red sea. I believe he said, me. Oh, Mary, don't you weep? Tell Martha not to mourn. Oh, Martha, don't you mourn? If I could, if I could, I surely would. Yeah. Wow. 